Hi, Catherine. How are you? Hi, Ellie. How are you? This is such a treat to be speaking with you here. Oh, thank you. Nice to talk with you, too. Thank you, and welcome to Living the Gourmet. So uh, I can't tell you, I am a fan of yours. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so this is so nice to have you here to talk to us about all the benefits and give us of olive oil and give us some tips for Mother's Day on some awesome recipes that I'm sure you have there. Yes, exactly. And, you know, olive oil is one of my totally favorite ingredients because it's just that perfect combination of delicious and healthy. But a lot of people have told me they're a little confused about certain aspects of it, so I want to kind of set the record straight so everyone's not confused and can just enjoy it. So first of all, there's basically two kinds of olive oil. There's extra virgin olive oil, and that has the most flavor, right? That's going to have all the different kind of fruity elements, peppery elements, and it's almost like wine because different varieties, different blends have totally different taste profiles, so you can go and taste and decide what you like best or try different kinds. Um, and that olive oil, extra virgin, is great for marinades, great for finishing dishes, great for dressing, but you can also cook with it. And most people really do not realize that. It's a, it's a myth that you can't cook with it. You can absolutely cook with extra virgin olive oil. Um, you can saute with it, you can bake with it. Um, so that's really important to know. The other kind of olive oil is regular olive oil. It's sometimes called pure or classic olive oil in the store. Um, and that is um, more neutral in flavor. So it, it's when you, want, when you don't want to have as much of a sort of olive oil flavor in your dish and you want the other flavors to come through um, stronger kind of thing, um, <laughs> use that one. It also takes even higher heat or longer heat. So it's great for grilling. It's great for, um, for kind of pan sauteing at a high heat. It's also great for uh, roasting, for example. So pure olive oil for that, and it's also a very economical choice. So I always have both kind of on hand. And the thing is, is that any olive oil that you buy is really rich in heart-healthy monounsaturated fat. So it's all good for your heart, and it's one of those things that you can do. You can so easily swap out olive oil for another oil that's maybe less healthy or uh, butter even. You can swap that out in dishes, in baking even. And it's amazing because you're automatically making your recipe healthier by doing that. And the thing is that all olive oils have monounsaturated fats, but extra virgin has the added benefit of having uh, a lot of antioxidants. So it's just incredible, and I like to have both on hand uh, pretty much at all times. <laughs> well, olive oil is a standard in my home. I grew up with olive oil, and I love olive oil. But a lot of people are afraid to switch out the butter in baking, for instance. Does it change the flavor? So what do you feel about that? Yeah, so actually, sometimes, it, I mean, it depends what kind you use. So this is a perfect example. So if you use the regular olive oil, it has a very mellow flavor, so it's not going to really impart that much flavor to the food. But there's a, a type of regular olive oil that's called light tasting, and it's labeled like that. It's really neutral in flavor. So depending on what I'm baking, sometimes I want that flavor. I might use extra virgin. If I really want a neutral flavor, I'll use the light tasting olive oil um, or the regular olive oil. So that's where you kind of can decide. And the thing is that both of those options are there, and it makes a huge difference in the health properties of those baked goods. And so when you're substituting in baking, when you're substituting for butter, um, you want to use about 25% less olive oil. So if it calls for a cup of butter, then you want to use three quarters of a cup of olive oil, for example. So you don't need even as much. That's good. That's a wonderful yeah. tip. And how about storing olive oil? A lot of people aren't sure how to store olive oil. Yeah, and that's so important because you're dealing with a very high quality product and that's what's great about it and you want to keep that quality when you get it home. So it's really important to keep it away from the heat. So a lot of people keep it by their stove. It's just not a good idea. Oh. Keep it in a cool, dark place and make sure it doesn't have exposure to the air. So keep that cap on tight. Make sure the cap is on. Um, and then it's going to last uh, two to three months, say, once it's opened. Um, and unopened will last about two years stored properly. But once it's open, two to three months. So only buy what you can use, what you think you're going to use in that two to three month period. Oh, that's an excellent tip. 
because if sometimes if you see it on sale, you might buy too much and it, you have it for too long. Right, and if you're going to use it, fine, go for it. <laughs> um, but you know, if you have, if you're just cooking for one or two, or you you have a smaller family, then you know you might want to go for a smaller, smaller bottle. So tell us what you're making for Mother's Day. So I know I I'm a mom, right? But I cook for Mother's Day. I love to cook. I don't mind. <laughs> but maybe True. someday someone will cook for me. But um, but anyway, I'm making this beautiful whole grain salad that has and it's two things really, and they both use olive oil, two different kinds of olive oil. So it really demonstrates how to use these different products differently. So first of all, this is a farro salad and it has grilled vegetables in it. So um, I just cook the farro, let it cool, and you could use quinoa here if you want or barley even, for example. Um, and then I grill up some vegetables and this is a really actually, I'm using zucchini and onion here um, mm -hmm. and I just brush it with the regular olive oil and then grill it. And you can totally grill with olive oil, so I think that's an important you know, message to remember. Yes. Um, and you can use any vegetables here. So sometimes I use, yeah, maybe I made some peppers, some leftover zucchini, whatever it is, but here it's um, leftover eggplant. Here it's zucchini and onions. I toss that in with some tomatoes and fresh herbs, and then I use the extra virgin olive oil for the dressing. Mm -hmm. And so I'll use that with some lemon juice, and you get a ton of flavor. So it's just two simple ingredients, that and some salt and pepper for the dressing. And there's so much flavor in the extra virgin olive oil that it just makes this beautiful, robust dish. So when it all comes together like this, and you can make it ahead, it's great for a barbecue. For Mother's Day, I think I'm gonna make some salmon, grill some salmon to serve on top. You could do chicken on top also. So it's really nice that way. It's also good, by the way, as like a bring to work lunch. I love it for that. Another recipe I have here, which also uses two different olive oils, is roasted radishes. I don't know, have you tried roasted radishes yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, they're so good. So it totally changes the flavor. Um, basically, you just toss them in the regular olive oil and then um, and roast them for 50 for about 15, 15 minutes. And then I let them cool and put them with on a smear of yogurt with some cucumber and mint, lemon zest, and then the finish of the extra virgin, beautiful, I like a nice fruity flavored uh, extra virgin olive oil there. A peppery one would work well too. So there you have, you know, two different examples of how to use two different oils and, and really get the most out of your olive oil. It sounds delicious and healthy too. Absolutely. So you don't have to feel guilty eating it no. or going for seconds. <laughs> No guilt, absolutely no guilt. And you know what, to find out more, you can get these recipes, you can get lots more information on aboutoliveoil.org. Oh, that, I, I know that people will go there and they will look, but also you, olive oil is great as a dip, um, you know, for Italian bread or the crusty bread. You can put some seasonings in it and serve that on the table with it. Totally, now you're a woman after my own heart. I would totally... <laughs> Absolutely, I love that. And that's where you really want to use the extra virgin because that's where you're getting the most lovely flavor um, oh. on the bread. Oh, it sounds all too delicious. Mm -hmm. And do you have suggestions, um, some extra suggestions for dessert? Oh, gosh, for dessert. You know, I just made this lemon poppy seed bread, um, and I used olive oil for that. I used the light-tasting one, and it's unbelievable. You can really use it in any quick bread, and that makes a nice dessert. You can do muffins and so on. As that well. sounds delicious with a little bit maybe of yogurt or, or berries. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm getting hungry and looking forward to trying these recipes because you are after my own heart with your, <laughs> with your cooking. Oh, thanks, Catherine. No, I am a fan. And thank you so much for being with Living the Gourmet. And I wish you a beautiful Mother's Day. Thank you. You too. And I'm sure it'll be delicious for <laughs> Thank you again, and have a wonderful day, Ali. You too. Bye, Catherine. Bye-bye now.